Hello and thank you for joining us for today's thought for the day, the last thought of this year, the 31st of December. The readings for today are Job 41 and 42, Malachi chapters 3 and 4, and Revelation chapters 21 and 22. The title of our thought for the day is Everyone Who Loves and Practices. Today we read the final chapters in both the Old Testament and the New Testaments. Both describe in graphic and fairly symbolic detail the final climax of world history. Malachi in particular says, The day is coming, burning like an oven, when all the arrogant and evildoers will be stubble. Verse, chapter 4, verse 1. But what should concern us the most are the principles that God uses in accepting human beings, whether he grants them a wonderful eternal future or not. Revelation tells us that Jesus, now at God's right hand, tells John, Behold, I am coming soon, soon as in God's time frame, what is two thousand years from his perspective, bringing my recompense or my reward with me to repay everyone for what he or she has done. And we read that in chapter 22 and verse 12. The reward of the righteous is in heaven where they have laid up treasure. Luke 18 verse 22. But they do not go there to receive it. Jesus brings it to them. Jesus declares, Blessed are those who wash their robes, that they may have the right to the tree of life. Outside are chapter 22, verse 14 and 15, which takes our thoughts to Adam and Eve and the way they were excluded from God's garden so they could no longer eat of that tree. Who are left outside in outer darkness Matthew chapter 8 verse 12, the place of eternal dead, when the climax of the ages is reached. Revelation tells us, outside are the dogs and the sorcerers and the, and the sexually immoral and murderers and idolaters and everyone who loves and practices falsehood. Chapter 22 verse 15. And compare Malachi chapter 3 verse 5. Would you say many humans live like dogs that roam around, getting wilder? Sorcerers? They play with a mind. So this includes those who take drugs. But the final category of those who practice falsehood will surely embrace a great many humans. How God despises those who are not honest in word and deed was stressed in chapter 21. Note verse 8, but as for the cowardly, the faithless, the detestable, as for murderers, the sexually immoral, sorcerers, idolaters, and all liars, their portion will be in the lake that burns with fire and sulphur, which is the second death. The symbol of the lake is there plainly stated. Luke 13 and verse 23 through to 28 contain Jesus' answer to the question, Will those who are saved be few? Jesus says in response to this, At his return, when he rejects them, they will say, We ate and drank in your presence, and you taught in our streets. And will there not also be many who will say, We read the Bible? But although they did this, if they loved and practiced the wrong thing and the practice of their faith was paralleled to that of the religious leaders in Jesus' day, how tragic for such will be the day that is coming. May we all in 2020 renew our endeavours to genuinely love God and to know and to believe 
what is true and practice a godly way of life. Thank you for joining us for today's final thought for the day for 2019. Remember, whatever you do today, do all to the glory of God, acknowledging that the antidote to sin is not only not to sin, but to do good. Thank you, God bless, and let's pray that the year 2020 will bring the return of the Lord Jesus Christ back to the earth to establish his kingdom centred from Jerusalem and grant eternal life to all those who strive to follow the example of the Lord Jesus Christ. Mm-hmm.